guys and welcome back to my channel today uh, I got my Laura Lee palette in the mail and she is my all-time favorite youtuber so I had to order her palette it was out of stock and then on Black Friday it came back in stock and I ordered it right on Black Friday and I finally got it in the mail I want to say yesterday and I wanted to open this package so bad, but I wanted to wait and film it while I was opening it So I actually had a real reaction to everything First off it came in this pink package and of course I love pink and pink is my favorite color I'm not gonna show you my address obviously. Oh You get free stuff in it Oh, and you open it, and it has the Laura Lee logo, and got some buttons. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And there's Laura Lee, if you don't know who she is, but wow. I even got buttons. Oh, they're pins, not buttons. Sorry. Pins. So then, pink, of course. Just open this up. Oh, you even have a sticker with our logo on it. I'm just gonna pull that out. So this is what it looks like then. I'm just gonna unpeel it. I'm so excited. There it is. Oh, with the sparkle. I love it. Oh, look how pretty this is. It comes with a mirror at the top. And look at those pretty 10 shades. Let's do it this way so the mirror doesn't really reflect. Oh wow, I cannot wait to play with this. And it is sturdy, like this, this magnetic, like you go into Ulta and or Sephora or wherever you're gonna get your makeup and this feels like heavy duty. Not even joking, this looks heavy duty. And of course, I'm gonna do it on my eyes today. Um, oh, I don't know which one I wanna go into first. I'm going to swatch them and I'll insert the clip here. Doki, Scatterbrain, Bomb Diggity, Cray Cray, uh, Redonculus, Quirky, Kooky, In One Ear, Out The Other, and Oddball. So those are all the shades. They're pretty pretty. They are very pretty. Um, there are some that are a little bit more pigmented than the other ones, but Definitely looks like you can build it up over time. But now, I get to play with this all in my eyes. And I love that she put the names underneath each shade so I can actually like say like what shade I'm using. I know like other ones like um like when I did my the one of the last videos like they don't have shade names so I just have to say like this brownish shade, this purplish shade or whatever. So the first thing I'm going to do, actually, is take the shade Okie Dokie, which is this very light shade. And I've already done my face, my eyebrows. I just wanted to do this solely for the Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas palette. So I already put primer on my eyes, so I'm just going to dig into Okie Dokie, and I'm going to set that primer in. Ooh. Wow, that is so light. I'm so not used to. That is pigmented. Okay. All right, now I know. Okay. Do it on the other side. I'm gonna tap off the excess on my mirror so it's not so. I just realized how wonky my eyebrow looks right here. Do I care today though? No, I don't. Okay. But anyways, okay, so I'm going to go into Bomb Diggity, and I'm going to put that 
as my transition shade. I don't know how pigmented this is, so I don't want to like less and then I'll do more, but I'm going to do this in my in my crease. Oh wow. Maybe it's just my skin tone, but it's like kind of orangey, which I don't usually put in as my transition shade, but I do like the color. Is that better? Okay, I brought you in a little bit closer because I don't think you could really see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Cray Cray, which is a little bit more of that orange shade, and I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eye. So lately I've been really into like the purplish type of tones and there are four purple tones that I cannot wait to dig into. I don't know which one I want to use. All right, so I, I don't usually put like a shimmer all over my eye, just like on the inner part. And there is one matte purple and I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eye. Ooh, that might be really pigmented. Alright, I always tap it off. Always. You can always go back in with more. Ooh. Ooh, I like that color. Ooh, that's so pretty and it's so pigmented. That was me like even tapping it off one time. Which I'm sorry if that tap like noise annoys the crap out of you. Alright, I'm gonna slowly drag it forwards a little bit so I can have a purplish tone. Okay. Sorry, the, I don't know if I said this, but the purple that I just put on the outer corner is called Kooky, which is this shade right here, and that's the matte purple. And now I'm trying to figure out what one do I want to do on my lid. I'm going to do it in one ear, which is this shade right here. It is very, very pretty, and I'm going to put that. Oh, excuse me, on my lid. I'm just going to take it on a, um, just like a flat brush. And we'll just see how it applies with just a brush. I don't know if I'll have to spray it or not. I know a bunch of people like to spray their brushes all the time, but I just like to see what the product kind of does before I do anything else. But this is actually going on pretty well. Wow, that is, that is pretty good. It kind of comes out a little bit like a pinkish color as well. It's not just purple, which of course I'm okay with because I love pink. I'm going to take my angled brush and let's do Cray Cray, which was that uh, orangish shade that we put in the outer crease of our eye to begin with. And I'm just going to do that on the outer portion of my eye. I like to use an angle brush because I don't like to have my lower line, like my lower, what's it called? Under my eye. I don't like to have it like super duper big and thick. So that's why I like to go with an angle brush. I know a bunch of other people just go with like, like a fluffy like smaller brush, but I don't really like to have that huge thing. If I was going out, then I would consider it, but I don't know, I just like doing like a smaller line. All right, uh, next thing I'm gonna do is just take, what did I put in there? Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of Kooky and I'm just gonna lightly put it over the Cray Cray, but I'm gonna try not to kind of hide that orange completely. I'm just gonna tap it in a little bit. So it looks like both colors are kind of like meshed together. And then I'm going to take in, oh, did I even say what color I was using? See, now I'm not used to it because all my other palettes don't have names on them. So now I have to, I have to get like back in used to of calling names, but the one color that I did put on my entire lid was called In One Ear. I might have said that, I don't think I did but I'm gonna go back in with that shade with that same angled brush and I'm going to just put it right 
up to that corner, but I'm not going to go into my inner corner of my eye. To go into Okie Dokie, and I'm going to use that as like my highlight shade in the inner corner of my eye. I'm not going to do a huge wing eyeliner. I'm not really big on the wing eyeliner, so I am just going to put brown mascara, or brown mascara. I'm going to put a very small little bit of um, brown eyeliner and mascara, and I'll be right back. Well, that finishes my look today using the Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas palette. Um, my overall review of it, I love this palette. This is probably going to be one of my go-to palettes now that I finally have it. I finally have it. And it's just so pretty. Like, these are, like, the colors I usually like to go to anyways because I have brown slash hazel whatever color my eyes are. And I usually go for, like, that purplish tones. And oh, I just love it. So, um, this palette, I think, retails for $40.00. And then you have to pay for shipping. So it depends how fast you wanted to get it to you. But I just did standard shipping. And I think my total was $45.88. But it was well worth it. This is a, an amazing palette. And I give Laura Lee a thumbs up. She'll probably never see this video. But Laura, if you ever do see this video, I love your palette. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.